Okay, so after a patient is blood typed, the A, B, O, and, and D, then we will run an antibody screen to see if there are um, any unexpected antibodies in the patient's blood that might cause a transfusion reaction if we uh, transfuse them with a blood unit. So um, we're going to be using patient's plasma at this point, and we're going to be using the uh, antibody screen reagents. So in this one, we have three um, reagent cells, and each of them have um, donor cells that have known antigens on them. So this is the antigram showing you uh, the donor cells that are um, involved in those reagents. This is cell one, cell two, cell three. This is the uh, description of the antigens on them, um, RH-wise, so here. And so when you look across here, you're looking and seeing that all the pluses are antigens that the, um, the donor cells have on them, whereas the zeros are ones that are negative. So ones that are in um, a blood grouping that um, shows dosage, if you have, say, the big E and the little e, these are ones that are inherited together. If you have a homozygous patient, it would just be a positive for one of the alleles. So that would be your little e. If it was heterozygous, you would have a plus in both of them. Okay, so homozygous means that it has only the one allele, whereas uh, heterozygous means it has both. So it would be a positive big E and a positive little e if it was heterozygous. None of these are heterozygous, so I guess the E was a bad example. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a drop of each of the reagent cells into the tubes. This is tube one, so that goes with reagent cell one. This is reagent cell two, and it's gonna go into tube number two. Then we're going to have tube number three, and cell number three but we're also going to use an auto control, which means that we're using patient cells and plasma to see if there is an auto antibody possibly present that we don't know about, or there might be an antibody that's forming that we don't know about. I accidentally put, I didn't get a really good drop in that, so I'm gonna try that one again. Sorry about that. There we go. All right, then we put two drops of patient plasma into each of them, including the auto control. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. So over here, we're testing to see if the patient with the reagent cells has any antibody to the known antigens that are on these cells. Whereas in the auto control, again, we're looking for any newly forming antibodies or auto antibodies. So newly forming auto or allo or just the presence of an auto.